So, uh, in, in my experience, I've seen that there are people who come only for wildlife safaris, people who come for just relaxation. Uh, there are people who find it very... Uh, we've had writers coming in and staying for a week, 10 days, writing their books. Hi Chirag, uh, thank you for having me over. Uh, it's really kind of you to want to take my interview. Uh, so my name is Anil Agarwala. I'm the director of a company called Exotic Hospitality Nagpur Private Limited. We have been running a resort called Tathastu at Pench since the last 10 years. And uh, now we are going into a big expansion uh, today we are sitting at our property in Kana, which is called Tathastu Kana, the Serenity Retreat. And uh, by 1st of October, we intend to start Tadoba, Pandavgar, and Satpura as well. So we will have about five running resorts by 1st October 2023. Next year, we have a plan to start work at Sanjay Dubri and uh, Panna. So, God willing, uh, you will see a series of uh, resorts by Tathastu very soon. So, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have to ask me. Why the name Tathastu? I think a lot of people ask me this question. And the answer is very simple. Before we bought the land at Pench, I had bought two more pieces of land. And uh, for whatever reasons, both the projects did not work out. Uh, you know, the, the land had some dispute or one land uh, was useful for some other purpose. So when I finally did the sale lead of the land at uh, Pench, came back in the evening at around 8 o'clock, went to sleep. 2 o'clock in the night, I got a dream where I saw Bhagwanji saying, Tathastu. Aisa hai Tathastu means granted as your desire. So, raat mein do baje, Sapna aya, Tathastu, Bhagwan ne bula. So that is the moment I thought that whatever I do, I'll call that project Tathastu. As far as difficulties are concerned, I think uh, there was nothing which is worth a mention. Everything was part of the journey and we all enjoyed it thoroughly. I was, I'm happy to lead a team which has uh, a fantastic bunch of uh, enthusiastic youngsters. So, Difficulties, I will not like to say because, challenges. yeah, not not very big challenges. Nothing is uh, bigger than uh, your desire to do it. So all challenges challenges were uh, small enough to overcome. So the journey started in 2008 when we bought the land, but we started construction only in 2000, uh, maybe 10, and we made our first bill in 2013. So the formal uh, operations started in 2013 at Pench. And Kana, we started operations uh, in uh, November 2022. Uh, yeah. Tadoba, Bandavgarh and Satpura, Satpura South, which is better known as Bori, Bori Churna range. These three will start in October 23, next season. Uh, see, the concept of uh, uh, my company believes in uh, personalization. So, the service that we provide, uh, I believe that we normally hire uh, a little more staff than any other uh, resort would do. Uh, so, our team, like for example, at Paints, we have a team of almost 125 people for 60 rooms. In Kana, we have 20 rooms and we intend to have around 60 people, maybe 55. But this includes everybody, the security, the cleaning staff, everyone. So we believe in very personalized service. So that is going to be common across. Uh, the food quality and the food variety that we would like to provide is also common across. But each resort, each forest has its own unique uh, qualities. What I like to do is, uh, Wherever I go, like for example, Kana, 
I thought that uh, this was a more gold do dominated area. So the theme of this resort is uh, uh, influenced by the gold tribe, the colorful uh, way of life that they have, the bright colors that they use. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, we will like to focus uh, on the safari, which is the main thing, but also provide other amenities. So whenever uh, safari is not a possibility, then we can take them for other activities like a nature walk or a sundowner, maybe organize bush dinners, do some cycling, small cycling expeditions, have some in-house activities, games, very good swimming facilities, uh, good library. Uh, we will have, we already have a very good team of naturalists who can engage the guests and, you know, uh, try to educate them as much as they can about nature, the forest, the flora and the fauna. So that is the common uh, part, but each resort is going to be different. It's every resort is going to have its own character. Yeah. Uh, so see, I, I think it's very unfair to compare with any other resort to begin with, you know. Everyone makes a resort with his own vision. So I cannot challenge the vision of any other person. But I can tell you about my vision. So uh, at most of our properties, we try, as I have already told you, to have something for every age group, something for every uh, type of uh, interest that a person or uh, my guest may have. So uh, in, in my experience, I have seen that there are people who come only for wildlife safaris, people who come for just relaxation, uh, there are people who find it very... Uh, we've had writers coming in and staying for a week, 10 days, writing their books. So the idea is to understand the need of the guest, understand what kind of... Uh, uh, what is the uh, exact uh, uh, surrounding that the guest or activity that the guest is looking for and to provide that. So that, that, that is why guest interaction becomes very important. And we give a lot of priority to that. We understand what he needs and he or she needs. And we try to provide for that. When you say, what is, why should a person come to Tadastu? So I, I, I believe that the personalized service, the food quality, if anyone was to go into our kitchen and see what kind of kitchen setup we have, what are the hygiene uh, factors that we take into account, the detailing that goes into every aspect of the resort, I believe that I am a very involved owner uh, and I have an eye for detail and I like to look at every minute thing and have, try to visualize what a guest feels and what the guest may require and then try to provide for that. Talking about last night, I did mention that every single day I try to spend a little time looking at my property with the visitor's eye, right? So I, I'm here as the owner or the, the director of the company where I'm looking at everything from the operational point of view. But then when I switch off, I try to spend 10 minutes and look at the entire property once again from the visitor's point of view. That what am I looking at when I'm walking? What, what am I feeling as a visitor? And then I try to balance out things as far as possible. Yeah, so there is a history uh, before I got into wildlife uh, tourism, I was into uh, manufacturing and exports of handicrafts and furniture. So way back in 1985, I started uh, a handicrafts unit in Nagpur, which was called Forms, F-O-R-M-S, Forms as in shapes, right? We got around, uh, we started with six from Rajasthan, but ultimately when I uh, sold off that company in the year 2000. I had 750 artisans from eight different Indian states and I was exporting to 21 countries. So having done handicrafts for a good 15 years, having worked with all kinds of tribes in different mediums, we worked on wood, brass, iron, leather, terracotta. So with 15 years of experience in uh, manufacturing handicrafts, doing furniture, and also doing interiors as a professional for a good 10-12 years, not only in Nagpur where I stay, but across the country. So 
I have a pretty good experience in uh, this line, so that helps. Uh, my main business is construction in Nagpur, where we have seven uh, projects going on. So it becomes a great combination. I've, I, I've done construction, I've done interiors, I've done handicrafts, I've been into hospitality. So all put together, I believe I'm in a pretty good position to understand all these aspects and implement them. So, okay, let me first tell you about the notes that you mentioned. So, when I was a young boy, probably I was only seven years old, and I, I would, would always be grateful to my home tutor. Uh, we used to call her Anju Miss, and she would encourage me, Ki beta, ab jahan bhi jao, to always write down whatever you've experienced, and uh, when you come back, I'll expect you to write an essay on it. So that got me into a habit of making notes in all my travels. So when I traveled, wherever I stayed, wherever I, whichever destination I went to, I always made notes about what I liked. As a tourist, so these notes I would say were over a good period of 30 years, you know. So, when I actually started doing Tathastu, we started making the resort, all those notes of 30 years came very handy. Uh, and all the good things that I had liked as a visitor, I tried to incorporate them. Okay, so uh, my family, uh, we are basically industrialists uh, from at least three generations. Uh, we are originally, originally from Rajasthan. My family shifted to Dhanbad which is the coal mine belt in 1898. In 1980, my family shifted to Nagpur, where we presently stay. Uh, the support started with belief in my thought, you know. Uh, initially, uh, since my family had never uh, been into hospitality, the very fact that when I said I want to get, get into hospitality, they believed in me and they said, fine, if you would like to do this, let's go ahead and do it. Then, uh, fortunately, every member of my family is involved in one way or the other. Uh, let's start from my mother, whom we unf unfortunately lost two years ago. But she gave us fantastic recipes. She uh, actually would call our chefs and make them stay at home for uh, maybe a week or two weeks at a time and tell her all the old recipes, make them uh, practice at home and then go back to the resort and then try to do that. My elder brother, Ashok Bhaiya, he has uh, a fantastic knowledge of plants and in Pench he has planted 1200 varieties of different species. Uh, he is handling the landscape and all the resorts. My wife, uh, uh, now that I'm very busy uh, looking after the new construction, the new resorts, she's the one who's looking after Pench to a large extent. She goes there more often than I do. Merely, oh, bacha bada ho gaya. Ab main chote bachon ko wo kar raha hoon. My uh, my two sons, my nephews actually, Bhaiya's uh, sons, but we are a joint Marwadi family. So, beta hi bolta hoon. So, Gaurav and Rahul. Gaurav is uh, the guy who's in the finance wizard. So he handles all the finances of all the properties, including our construction. Rahul is a qualified architect, having done his masters from Edinburgh, UK. So he sometimes helps me with the technical aspect of all the uh, construction of the resorts. Uh, my daughter-in-laws, Gaurav and Rahul's uh, wives. So Akanksha, the elder one, is also an architect, and she does a lot of designing for me in the terms of like the logo of Tathastu was designed by her. So if I have any specific uh, requirement, I give her my thought that this is the kind of thing I'll want and she always comes up with a great reproduction of or, or uh, better innovation of what I want. Uh, my daughter, she helps me with a lot of purchasing, like light fixtures and all that. Uh, now my son-in-law has joined and he's helping us with marketing. So the entire team is involved in some way or the other. And I'm very proud of that fact. Oh, that award was nothing very big, but uh, there is an organization uh, 
in Nagpur called Global First. Uh, so they had a uh, award ceremony and they selected uh, maybe around 25 uh, different categories and in hospitality we were awarded, Tathastu was awarded and uh, that was mostly for uh, 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 improving the tur tourism uh, sector in uh, the central India seg uh, yeah, loca uh, locations. So uh, more than the award I would like to say that when I received the award I was asked to say, please say something. And that came as a little surprise to me because I was not prepared with any speech. So what came out at that moment from my heart is something which I love. So I had said that my heart is so much so that I can make a body. In that the soul is my team. So you know, my, I can only make the infrastructure. But the life into that infrastructure is put by my team. So I'm really proud to have a very, very dedicated and fantastic team of uh, the entire staff, right from the top to the junior most level. If you, you've been here, uh, so you may have noticed the enthusiasm, the zeal, and, and their desire to give happiness to every guest. That is something uh, priceless, you know. Uh, if you ask me the wordings, I will not really remember. But our guitarist is uh, Achinto, who is in the He has been with us for over five years now. Uh, so we have this concept that every resort, we keep a guitarist uh, unplugged. Like he, we don't provide him with a mic or a sound system. So as long as he can sing with a small group, he can sing with a guitar. So we keep him in resort, pe hum log rakte hai. that is a nice... Uh, uh, you know, one or two hours of uh, chill time for the guests after their safari, etc. So, Achintu, in uh, COVID, ke samay, uh, he wrote and composed this song and uh, uh, he gifted that to me on my birthday. I think this was uh, October 20 or 21. I'm not, I can't remember the date exactly. But that was such a wonderful gift and uh, uh, it, it goes uh, something like this. Tatha, uh, Aao dekho, parko, hum hai tathastu, something like that. And it's a beautifully composed song. Tathastu hume kehte hai, right. So I'm really proud, you know, that, that goes to show that uh, her team member ke dil se wo awaz aati hai. And uh, I'm ashamed that I don't remember the anthem. But most of my staff will do. Yes. Aao, dekho, aao, hume parko. Yeah, something like that. So I was saying that I'm thankful for all of you, uh, to all of you for coming over. Uh, you know, it's uh, whatever I may say in words or whatever I may uh, share in pictures. Uh, it will never compare to what you feel in ac actually visiting the place and experiencing the hospitality. So thanks for coming over and through you I would like to tell all my future guests that come, have a look and uh, you will not go back disappointed. We always say you will go back but only to come again. Thank you so much Chirag, lovely. Yeah.